Charles, how would you kind of characterize the day? Um, not a good start. Uh, I changed putters uh, this week and um, got out on the first hole. And you know, I always say when changing a club, especially a putter that's you know that's got to do with feel, you feel it when you feel a bit of adrenaline. You know, and I got on the first, and I was like, wow, this thing's heavy. Uh, so I struggled with the putter um, throughout the first few few holes and um, uh, hit my irons really good. But it was just a day where I wasn't quite on and I felt like I just trying to hang on, you know. So two over, it's, it's not it's not good to be contending in the tournament, but it, it could have been worse. Um, and maybe if I can sort it out, I can play better the next few rounds. Is that kind of tough, like when you have... You change your club with a putter and then you kind of get a bad feel. Is that, is that transition to other parts of your game at times? Or early uh, head maybe? Yeah, I mean, it definitely affected me on the second hole. I was three putted the first hole from not that far. And on the second hole, I didn't feel so happy with myself. <laughs> um, but I, I was fine the rest of the day. I, I was in good, uh, good, good spirits and, um, you know, just grinding hard. Do you feel like maybe it's a little bit of work on the, a little more work on the putting green might? A little bit of putting and then, um, uh, yeah, i got to maybe sort the drive out the last few holes. Was a bit, but, you know, it's side goes. Last question for me. I don't know if you've seen the, the ruling that came down from the DP World Tour. Um, Keith Kelly talked today and kind of possibly kind of opened the door for, on a case-by-case -case basis, for, for the players to possibly be able to play the, the European Tour, the DP World Tour. If that was the case, would you possibly think of playing both tours? Um... I mean, European Europe is where it started for me. You know, I mean, Sunshine Tour is where it started for me. But we went to Europe, and I've been a member there for more than 20 years. Um, you know, and I love playing. Um, I love playing worldwide. You know, and that's what Europe did did for us. It gave us that opportunity. Um, so, yes, <laughs> you know, I possibly, I possibly would. Um, but uh, you know, time will tell. See what happens. What was it like playing with Aldridge? Uh, great, you know, it's just nice to see a young South African come through. The guy's very powerful, um, you know, and uh, you know, I suppose his goal today was really just to take it all in. You know, this is a big stage, and um, and I think he did a great job. You know, is uh, uh, you know, I would have loved to be in his age, walking and around Augusta in his fairways. <laughs> did he ask you any tips along the way? Uh, you know, when you when you're playing, you know. A few times he came to me, said, Man, getting a lot of mud balls. I don't know where the ball's going. I said, I don't know where the ball's going on a clean ball. Never mind a mud ball. <laughs> okay, thanks very much.